Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka Rikadia, Developer Advocate on the Google Cloud team, and today I'm going to show you how to use Vortex AI and help a friend get into yoga. We are building a yoga post classification model. Let's get started. First thing we need is the data. For this step, my friend Sarah and I collected a bunch of images from our yoga practice and uploaded them into the managed datasets. As you see here, the images are labeled in five categories. I can even upload unlabeled images and label them. We can analyze our dataset to see that we have enough examples of each category. Now we are ready to train our model. In here, I'm selecting AutoML for training method. You can also train a model to deploy on the edge or on-premise, or use custom training if you're writing your own custom model code. Now we define our model. AutoML automatically splits the data into training, validation, and test, but we can change it if you want to. In compute and pricing, we get to select how many node hours we want to train the model. At this point, we wait for the model to train. Once it is trained, we see it in the model tab and can evaluate the model. We can see our model's average precision. It ranges from zero to one, where a higher value indicates a higher quality model. We can see that the confusion matrix helps us understand where our model is confusing two results. Now that we have evaluated our model, it's time to deploy it to an endpoint. We can split traffic between two models deployed on the same endpoint if needed. Allocate the number of nodes needed for this endpoint. Depending on where your users are, select the region to deploy your endpoint. And that's it. Hit deploy and we have an endpoint. Now we can test our endpoint and the model by uploading an image. And yay, it works. You can also make predictions using the SDK if this has piqued your interest in Vertex AI and you want to learn more, head over to the documentation linked on screen. Thanks for watching.